Wow. Anyway, go on. I'm there to talk to you today about AI art. So the kind of thing I will try to do is not to talk to you about technology. What I will be talking about today is more about emotion and creativity. Auguste Renoir said, art is all about emotion. And if you have to explain art, it's not okay. So sometimes, even though we are tempted by looking at art from a technical, technological, and medium perspective, actually, it's all about emotions. And AI art can be about emotion as well. When you see how technology has changed the world of art over the past 200 years, actually, there is one very specific technology that changed the art world, that is photography. Photography was invented in 1839, and it totally changed the world of art. Why? For a very simple reason. Because all of a sudden, even the best painter in the world couldn't beat the quality of the photography in describing reality. So, basically, there has been a shift, a split in the art world where a certain generation of painters continued to create their art, and another generation of painters decided actually to change and not to show reality, but to show emotion and impression. Those are called the impressionists. And the impressionist movement changed the world of art forever. Coming back to AI art, I tend to believe that AI will be doing the same as photography. It will enable a new generation of artists to create AI art, but it will also, it will also push other artists to change the way they create art so that it creates emotion even beyond technology. So, today I will quickly show you five collections of AI art that I believe are interesting and probably cultural significant. Obviously, I have to start with a line draw by Elman Mantimov. Elman is a, is a prodigy of machine learning. He's a former Google scholar, and he basically created a model of text to image in 2015 that is a line draw. It was an instant success within the academic world, within the machine learning world, because it was very novel. And when you see those toilet paper, obviously it is highly pixelated, and you might think that it's not exactly that, but at the time it was a pioneering technology. And it basically took a decade for the art world to actually understand that and to make it probably what we call the foundation AI collection for all. The second one I wanted to talk to you about today is Rupe Rinesto. Rupe is a Finnish global artist, photographer, designer, and so many things. And in 2023, with this specific collection, which is Life in West America, he gained a global recognition, and this collection became one of the most sought-after AI art collection in what he called post-photography. And it's one of my favorite post-photography collections, obviously. Continuing a little bit further, I will now go with Ivo Natal, actually Dr. Ivo Natal, who is a, a doctor in machine learning, and who is basically doing uh, you know, many, many great things. Oh, sorry. Um, i just come back. Um, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So Ivona uh, is a doctor in uh, machine learning, and because she's an artist as well, she kind of merged her two universes, where on one side, 
you know, photography, as you can see. She's using a lot of surrealism, and she's actually creating extremely complex programs that you can see behind me. Um, that's our generative and AI, to AI, uh, a global collection like the one that you see on the side. And the reason why I show also Ivona and Rupe and Elman and the next two artists is actually that also show the diversity of AI art. And again, some of those collections might inspire you some emotion. Some of them you might just not be interested in them. But that's perfectly fine. That's about art, you know? So, the fourth is obviously, for those of you who know me a little bit, you know that I'm a great fan of nice auntie. And this auntie universe that is extremely interesting on various levels. Nice auntie is a Singaporean artist and architect. And she created this collection uh, last year. And this specific auntie verse was released in February this year. So it's relatively young and new collection, but it very, very quickly gained uh, global recognition. She's now on Instagram, some of her posts are making 10 million views, and she was at TED Talk a month ago to tell about AI art, way better than I'm doing right now. And she's an amazing artist, and I think that this collection as well is actually a good bridge uh, to onboard new people into AI because it creates emotion. Uh, it can be fun, it can be sometimes I don't understand that. Uh, but for me, everything I see from her creates emotion, and that's what I'm looking for into art. And last but not least, oops, those are the, the remaining part of nice zombies. And last but not least, I wanted to also show you the beautiful world and dreamy world of Yeni Passanen. Yeni is a Finnish artist, a global artist, who is actually mixing the medium, painting, digital painting, and AI. And a very dreamy universe, uh, with at least some videos, um, is showing a kind of very specific universe that people can get into. And uh, again, I've always uh, put the uh, either Twitter slash X handle or the Instagram, so I strongly advise some of you to follow her. And this is normally a video, but this is a great one of her latest piece. And I will pre post that later today so that you can see the video globally. So, as we say in French, voila. Um, I hope you enjoyed the journey to AI art. Uh, I really believe that it's a groundbreaking moment for art, and specifically me as a collector and investor. I believe that some of the most important art collections of the next decade will be working with AI. But again, not solely. And creativity is the best of human creativity and, human and machine intelligence will probably drive the next area of digital art globally. Thank you.